Hello there, Buffalo faithful. The MAC opener today against Central Michigan. And the Bulls are coming off a 19 point victory against the Syracuse Orange. The Chippewas have Kevin Brooks, the 6'7, 214 pound quarterback, under center today. He has four touchdowns, four interceptions through his first three games. Their offensive line, amazing on the left side, amazing at the guards, but center, tackle, not amazing. Defensively, Max Saylor. That's all we really have to look out for today. And Kirk rocking with the Bulls as to be expected. Undefeated team versus a 1-2 team. And it's hard to go against the Bulls right now, especially against these lower Mac teams. So Central Michigan got to where they were. Lost to Western Kentucky. Lost to Clemson. Beat UMass. Actually kind of had Clemson on the ropes, but doesn't matter as it is almost time for kickoff we've got van gaither eric wilson chris ramser and brett holly visiting today i'll see you over on the field and it's a rainy afternoon here in buffalo new york the bulls looking to start things off four and oh chippewas just trying to get back to 500 nobody has played a MAC game yet. This is the first one in the entire conference. But I'm excited for this game and hope you're excited. It's almost time for kickoff. I'll see you down on the field. And here we go. Central Michigan won the toss, elected to kick. Darius Gooden and Corey Gross Jr. back to receive this as Gross Jr. Taking it up the right sideline. Gross Jr. spins and taken down after a gain of 30, out to about the 40. And here comes Patterson, looking to lead this offense to another week of success. Lemon staying under center. Makes an adjustment to the play, hands it off to Patterson. And Patterson gets about a yard, tackled by Max Saylor. Patterson, 500 yards on the season, basically, and seven touchdowns. Second down, handoff, Patterson going left, and picks up four. Third down. Four yards to the sticks. Lemon staying under center. Quick drop, and finds Johnson on the left side, and Johnson. 16 yards on the reception and a first down. It's nice seeing Marlon Johnson get some more work in his last season, especially after, you know, the past two where he hasn't really gotten as many looks. You set it down at the 42, Lemon. Looking, finds Johnson. And he's taken down by Saylor after a gain of one. Sticking with the under center looks here. Lemon on second down. Throwing over the middle, looking for Landry. Falls incomplete, third down. Good little pistol look. It's a fake. Lemon rolling out to his right. And gets that one. Luckily batted down. And the Bulls are going to have to punt. A pretty okay offensive drive. Just Lemon needs to clean up some things as Freeman gets this one low and it gets past the return man picked up by Hall at about the 16 so here come the Chippewas Brooks hands off to Nichols Lou Nichols going left and finally brought down after a gain of six empty set Brooks Fires Johnson, wide open, Frank Johnson, a gain of seven. New set of downs. And it's a handoff to Nichols who cuts it back left. Nichols 
has some room and picks up seven on the play. Second down. Rooks looking to pass. And it's a fumble! Hit by Rowe and recovered by a Chippewa offensive lineman. But Will Rowe got back there and watch this. One move all it took, bam. Brooks did not see that coming. So third down, third and six. Brooks looking to pass, and he finds Wilson. Joel Wilson hit hard by De Palma, but it's a first down. First and ten. Brooks hands this one off to Nichols, and Nichols takes it straight into the mouth of the defense and picks up five. Good push by the offensive line there. Second and five. Brooks throwing right and knocked away by Chad Cunningham. What a play. Third and five. It's a screen. Brooks finds Nichols and Nichols is going to be stopped short of the first down. Fourth and two, they do punt it. Second and seven for the Bulls here in their next offensive drive. And Patterson loses a yard on the carry, third and nine. Pistol look, Lemon. Throwing, trying to just dump it down to Patterson. And the Bulls are going to have to punt again. Second and nine for the Chippewas. Brooks throwing left. Joel Wilson caught it. And it's a first down. Their gain of 11. Nearing the red zone. Brooks, empty set. Has a little bit of time, but the pressure getting to him. And Caleb Tate got past their best offensive lineman. Look at this move by Caleb Tate. Just a quick rip. He's in. Third and 15. Tight end heads in motion. Brooks looking to pass. Quick throw down the left sideline. And Mark Davis knocks that one away. Fourth and 15. They do punt. Just a look. Lemon hands this one off to Patterson, who runs ahead for a gain of seven. Second and short. Best run Patterson's had all day. Lemon hands this one off to Chauncey Williams, and Williams gets about six yards on the carry and picks up a new set of downs for the Bulls. Piss the full house. Lemon hands it off to Patterson, and Patterson loses four. Corey Gildersleeve on the tackle. Second and 14. Lemon throwing underneath Marlon Johnson, and he picks up five. Third and long. Empty set for Lemon. Could be the last play of the first quarter. It's caught by Grant. And Grant cannot get the first down. So at the end of one, Central Michigan zero, Buffalo zero. A real defensive slobber knocker we've got going on. Freeman hoping to pin these guys deep once again. Strong win, but not in favor of anybody. As this punt at the 20 bounces and ends up out at the 11. Great punt from Freeman, second and eight. Tight end goes in motion. Rooks firing to Nichols on the angle, and Nichols, it's a gain of 13. No defenders there on that play. First and 10, handoff Nichols. Nichols, nice cut. And picks up six on the run. Second and four. Brooks under center. Nichols the deep back. Brooks dropping back. Throwing and picked off by Marcus Fuqua. And that's an interception for the senior. Might be his first one since coach took over three years ago. First and 10 bowls. Brooks had no idea he was even there. Shotgun look, Patterson to the right of Lemon. 
Lemon throwing to Stevens, and Stevens upended after a gain of four, second and six. Patterson staying back with Lemon. It's a handoff. And Corey Gildersleeve made him pay on that play. Third and seven. Shotgun look for the Bulls. Lemon play action rolling to his right. And chucks it out of bounds. Interesting to see what the Bulls do here. They are going to try and kick this field goal. Once again, the wind not positive in any direction as this one is short. 15 mile an hour winds blowing across the field. Took off enough momentum from that kick and it's going to be short. Let's see if Central Michigan has any answers for this defense so far as Brooks takes it ahead in a gain of 11 on the read option. First and 10 at the 40. Gant goes in motion. Brooks hands off to Lou Nichols. Lou Nichols going left and picks up four before he's tackled by Caleb Tate. Pull back in for the Chippewas. Brooks looking to pass, lofting it to the right side. And Tyrone Scott, did he get his feet down there? Let's take a look here. Ah, it looks like he might have just got his feet in. First and ten. Brooks is sacked by Caleb Tate once again. Caleb Tate already having a great day. Just a spin move right around their best offensive lineman. And I need that to be clear. Because Caleb Tate has been on a tear ever since about that. Later in the last season, he's just kept it going into this season. And I love seeing that. I don't love seeing Joel Wilson wide open. Down the middle of the field, 38 yards. There was literally nobody there. Goff, that's your guy. You got to be there. The bad play. About halfway through the first half here. Brooks hands it off to Andrews, and Andrews is into the end zone. Fullback dive. Touchdown, Central Michigan. They're about to take a 7-0 lead. All right, can Buffalo answer? Lemon hands this off to Patterson, and Patterson takes it up. It's a gain of eight. Second down. Staying in shotgun. It's a handoff to Patterson. Patterson's got the first down and a little more gain of six. So three minutes to go here in the first half. Lemon looking to pass. Throwing left side. Lamaro Smith Jr. wide open. Gain of 18. Nobody on him. Beautiful throw. Beautiful catch. First down. Second and ten. Lemon hands it off to Patterson. Patterson breaks off a tackle. He's got a gain of 13 and a new set of downs. First and 10. Running from the shotgun. Been very effective against this team right now. As another run gashing them up the middle. Gain of 13 for Jarrett. We're in the red zone now. First and goal. Lemon is taking off and hit after a gain of four. Thought he could get his way into the end zone. He almost could have if we take a little bit of different path. Second and goal, Lemon keeps it and taken down at the goal line. They're gonna mark him just short. Third and goal, I can only imagine it's going to Jarrett Patterson and it does. Touchdown, Bulls! This game is tied. What a drive. 47 seconds left. Brooks on second down, throwing left. Undercut the route, Kyle Goff! Kyle Goff heading into the end zone, untouched. Touchdown, Bulls! There we go, what a defensive 
effort by Kyle Goff. Whoa. Seven-point game. That that always sparks things. A defensive touchdown, defensive play can always spark something. And Will Rowe getting the sack. Buffalo calls a timeout. They've got two timeouts and 10 seconds to work with. Lemon throwing deep, looking for Grant. Almost picked off. Now only five seconds here in the first half. Might as well go for it. Lemon. See how far he can throw this in. No time in the pocket. Gets sacked, and that is the end of the first half. Buffalo with the momentum right now, 14-7. to That was an exciting first half. A lot of points scored just in that second quarter, 21 points total. Patterson really started to get effective, especially running out of shotgun. We're going to see if Coach keeps going with that here in the second half. We'll be right back shortly. are back. Second half Maction football from Buffalo, New York. Handoff, Lou Nichols. And Nichols loses three on the first play of the second half for the Chippewas. That's Rich Miller on the play. Third and 11. Looking to avoid a quick three and out. Brooks throwing over the middle and cannot bring it in. They're going to have to punt this away. So a three and out for Central Michigan, not an ideal way to start. Hunter, back deep to receive this kick at about the 40. Hunter going left, then cuts right. Hunter past the 50, past the 40, and taken down at the 34-yard line, gain of 26 on that return. Lemon on first down. It's a quick throw to Jelani Foster. Foster spins off the tackle, picks up 15 down to about the 20. Shotgun look. Williams heads in motion, handoff Patterson, and Patterson is not going to get anywhere, loses one. Tackle by Montre Braswell. Patterson almost 50 yards today, third and nine. Lemon finds Lamar Elbert over the middle and just short of the goal line, but an 18-yard reception for Lamar Elbert. Puts the Bulls right there, basically in the end zone. So close. First and goal, crowding the line, but Jarrett Patterson finds the hole. Touchdown, Bulls! Two score lead. 21 to seven. Brooks on second down finds Scott, but Scott's not gonna be able to find much of anything else. Third and six. Defense playing lights out right now. Brooks on third down. Throwing over the middle of the field. There's Scott and Scott has the first down. Gain of 20. That makes it first and and thought the defense would play a little bit better on third down right there. First and 10. Brooks hands off Lou Nichols going left and Nichols not going to go anywhere. Loses a yard. John Hall on the tackle. It's a good play for the quarterback. Second and 11. Brooks, it's an option. Keeps it and gets about four on the run. Gonna bring up third and seven. Brooks 
Quick drop finds Scott, and Scott falls ahead of the marker. First down. First and ten. Brooks throwing. Picked off by Vinny De Palma, and De Palma spun down. But that's going to be the third interception of the day for the Bulls. De Palma just stole that one right in front of that receiver. First and 15 after a false start. Handoff Patterson to the right. And Patterson gets about seven on the carry. Patterson over 50 yards on the day. Still below that. What you're looking for is four yards a carry at least. Third and five. Lemon rolling out to his right. And fires. Finds Tyler Stevens. Got the first down. Looks like he wanted to run with that one, but saw the open man. First down, handoff Patterson, and Patterson finally whistled down after a gain of six. Two minutes and 15 seconds here in the third quarter. Lemon, quick throw, Marlon Johnson, and Johnson has the first down and a gain of 14. 36 yards on four receptions for Johnson so far. First and 10, Lemon play action. Throwing left, Tyler Stevens to the end zone. No, what a hit by the quarterback, Stevens. Got embarrassed again by another defensive back. First and goal. Handoff Patterson. Patterson does not get into the end zone on that run. I can only imagine they're going right back to him. And they do. Patterson jumping into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulls! Jarrett Patterson, his third of the day. 28 to 7. Brooks, read option. Going left and taken down after a gain of five. But Lou Nichols limping off the field. We do have news Nichols will be out the rest of the game. Backup running back Roberts taking his spot. And it's a handoff to Roberts and JJ Roberts going nowhere. Chippewas are going to have to punt. When we come back from this break, third quarter finally over. And Buffalo has a commanding 28 to 7 lead. And they are going for it. They were going to punt this. They sent out the offense last second. And Brooks tackled, sacked, fumbled, picked up by Caleb Tate. Fourth turnover of the day. Will Rowe and John Hall. <laughs> what a play. First and ten, Lemon. Throwing to the end zone, trying to get Marlon Johnson a touchdown. I don't hate that throw. Second and 10, Stevens goes in motion, handoff Patterson. Patterson going right, cuts back left, and taken down after he gets the first down. Patterson at 76 yards on the day, three touchdowns. Lemon on first down, finds Tyler Stevens. He had the touchdown. You have to hang on to that. Second and goal. Lemon under center. Lemon, quick pass to Medlock off the play action. Eight yard gain and just short of the goal line once more. You know who this is going to. Big Jarrett Patterson into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulls. Patterson's fourth touchdown of the day 35 to 7 Brooks throwing left Joel Wilson has the first down about 11 on the play Wilson having a good day for himself 72 yards most of that coming from his earlier huge play in the second quarter as Scott 25 yard catch nice hit by the defensive back there. At the 30, Brooks has some time. Checks it down to J.J. Roberts. Roberts shakes off two tackles before he's finally brought down by King. Gain of 11. 
Third and five. Brooks, quick drop, finds Nixon somehow. And there's a flag on the play. Personal foul, face mask, defense. And they're calling a face mask on Mark Graham. I don't know if that's correct. Fourth and goal for the Chippewas. Fullback dive to Andrews. He looked like he was down before the goal line. Looked like his shoulder and elbow hit right there. And they're still going to give him the touchdown. Coach not happy but not challenging it. DePaul checked in as a tight end fullback. The handoff to Patterson. And he picks up three. Interesting to see De Palma out there in a certain formation. Third and five. Andrews is sacked and loses four. The Bulls are gonna have to punt. Good play by Tyrone Rawls. So the Chippewas do have some time. Not a lot of it though. Brooks on first down. Just fires it out of bounds. Receiver could not make a play on the ball. Second and 10. Brooks throwing left side. J.J. Roberts underneath. It's a pickup of nine. Gonna bring up third and short. Shotgun look for the Chippewas. Brooks hands it off to Roberts and Roberts has the first down. Picks up five. New set of downs, but second down now for the Chippewas. Brooks is going to be sacked. Shook off the tackle by Eddie Wilson, but could not get away from Kyler Lang. Third and 19. Brooks throwing it left side deep. Mark Davis right there in coverage and picks it off. Mark Davis with the fourth interception on the day for the team. And that will do it. Mark Davis sealing the deal with an interception. What a good game from the defense. Last play of the game, Jesse Andrews taking the knee. And there you have it. The first MAC game of the season for the Bulls ends in a win. A 35-14 dominating victory over the Central Michigan Chippewas. Jarrett Patterson, one heck of a day. 80 yards, four touchdowns, didn't need all the yard production as he's been getting because he was still productive uh, from the goal line. I'm surprised some of those goal line ta tackles that we ended up being on the, the weird side of didn't end up being touchdowns anyway. Some of them are very, very close, but does not matter. We've got the best running back in the country, in my opinion. So, pat his stats a little bit. And hopefully win him a, to a dope walker. That's a good game all around for us. Central Michigan's two touchdowns came off fullback dives. So, really fantastic defensive game plan for us today. 13. 22 for 140 for Brad Lemon. That completion percentage starting to go up once he gets more comfortable in this offense. Patterson, 80 yards on the day. Four touchdowns. Williams at six uh, attempts for 37 yards. Not bad at all. Marlon Johnson, leading receivers along with Tyler Stevens. No receiving touchdowns today, but offense still found success where it needed to find it. Defensively, Caleb Tate was on a tear today. Three TFLs, two sacks. Of course, De Palma had an interception. Mark Davis had an interception. Kyle Goff had an interception. And Marcus Fuqua had an interception. Uh, I think I called him a senior earlier. He's still, uh, he's only a junior. A couple deflections, couple sacks today. Forced fumbles. I mean, it was a good day defensively. Caleb Tate with the fumble recovery. I mean, when you're playing that good, there's nothing you can do about it. Brooks, just a bad day at the office. 
This is a hard defense to find success against um, on both sides of the ball. I mean, we throw out so many formations, you don't know what you're looking at sometimes. You could run a 4-2-5 one play, a 1-5-5 the next. You don't know what's going to come at you. And Tyrone Scott, leading the receiver for the Chippewa, 76 yards. Defensively, eh, they had some good players. Gildersleeve had a great game. I, I thought Sailor was going to be the, the issue. It turned out to be Gildersleeve. But after that game, four-star right end Matt Wagner did commit to our team. We had great visits with Van Gaither, Eric Wilson, Chris Ramser, Brett Holly, And that's it. That is the end of the episode. And look at that. The Bulls ranked 25th in the nation. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. If you can please like the video. I'd greatly appreciate that. Help it push it out to the algorithm, to the people that watch the same type of content. This is your first time you're watching a video of mine. I make sports franchise content. Getting ready to start 2K22 here soon. And if you could also leave me some comments. I love interacting with everybody. That'd be fantastic. Anyways, that's all the time I've got. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one.